Hi friends, my name is Nandita. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Chilla, now let us discuss about digestion and absorption. Children, now let us discuss about teeth and its function. Teeth are hard structures which are meant for folding and crushing the food. Most of the mammals have diffodont means two set of teeth milk or deciduous and permanent set. Theodont means the teeth are embed embedded in the socket of jaw bones. And another type of teeth are heterodont, the teeth means they have different types of teeth. Now let us discuss the types of teeth in humans. Children, there are four kinds of teeth which are called as incisors, canines, premolars and molars. These are present in human. Let us discuss about incisors. Incisors are chisel shaped and process sharp cutting edges. They are usually specialized for cutting the food. Canines. Canines, they lie immediately behind the incisors. Canines are well developed in carnivores and may be absent in herbivores, leaving a gap called diastema, which is used to separate the chewed and unchewed food in the mouth cavity. They have long, sharp, pointed end for purchasing, killing, and tearing of flesh food. Now, let us discuss about premolars and molars. Premolars and molars, these are called cheek teeth and which are broad, strong, crushing the food. The last molars in humans are being called wisdom teeth. Now let us see the different types of teeth like homodont, heterodont and others. Homodont, when all the teeth are structurally and functionally similar. So these types of teeth are called homodont teeth. Examples like vertebrates, excepted metatherian and etherian mammals, we can see this type of homodont teeth. Now let us see what are heterodont teeth. Heterodont, even these are also four types of teeth like incisors of four biting, canines of four tearing, premolars of eight crushing and grinding, and molars are twelve for making smaller pieces. Example, metatherian and etherian animals, we can see this type of teeth. Now let us discuss about incisors 8 which are present in heterodont type of teeth. These are present at the front and long curved and possess sharp edges teeth. They are adapted for cutting or cropping and biting. Canines. Four canines are present. These are one pointed or dragger shaped canine in each maxillary of upper jaw and each dentary of lower jaw next to the incisors. There are meant for reaching, tearing and offense and defense. These are poorly developed in man. Now let us discuss about 8 premolars and their function. There are meant for crushing, grinding and chewing. There are also called chick teeth. Let us discuss about 12 molars which are present in humans. Chick teeth, they are specialized for crushing and grinding the food. Children, the enamel which is present on the teeth represents the hardest substance of the body. It is completely a cellular and a vascular and non-regenerable teeth. It helps in mastication of the food. The element that hardens the smooth enamel is fluorine. Now let us discuss the structure of teeth. Children, teeth are already we discussed embedded in the jaws. Man has fixed upper jaw and movable lower jaws. Each tooth consists of three parts like crown, root, neck. Let us see what is crown. Crown it is the exposed portion of the tooth above the gums. The gingiva is a specialized region of the oral mucus surrounded the neck of the teeth. Crown is covered with the hardest substance called enamel that protects the crown. Beneath the enamel is dentin which is made up of a hard substance but are not tough as enamel and they can decay. Dentin forms the bulk of tooth. The, 
there is a pulp cavity inside the dentin it is a jelly like substance and carries the nerve fibers blood vessels and sensory cells the nerve supply to the upper teeth is by the branches of maxillary nerves and to the lower teeth by the branches of mandibular nerves these both are branches of fifth cranial nerve called trigeminal nerve now let us discuss about neck neck is a narrow portion at the gum line Now let us see what is root. Root is embedded in the jaw bone and holds the tooth securely in place. The root is fixed in alveolus of the jaw bone by periodontal membrane and cementum. Cement holds a tooth in its socket and periodontal membrane covers the cement. Children, now let us discuss the number of teeth which is present in humans and other organisms the milk or deciduous teeth are 20 in number 10 in upper and 10 in lower jaw the deciduous teeth begin to erupt when the child is about 6 months old and should all be present by the end of 24 months the permanent teeth begin to replace the milk teeth in the 6th year of age these teeth are 32 and usually completed by the 20th year thank you